welcome back to Sweets and Beyond. My name is Ida and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an all-time classic Puerto Rican fritter and alcapurria. Here are the ingredients. Today we're going to be using a green plantain, one and a half pounds of jautia. This is a root vegetable. I tried to find the translation. I don't think there's a translation for jautia. Five hard green bananas about two teaspoons of salt, one packet of sazon, or if you make your own sazon, you can use your own sazon, and about one pound of cooked picadillo meat. I'm gonna link down below how to make this picadillo. So the first thing we're going to do is, be careful, all these two stay in your hands. So I'm gonna put on some gloves, and I'm going to peel them, and then we will be back. Okay, we're gonna start with the plantain. If you notice, I covered my cutting board with a bit of plastic wrap because this will stain everything a dark, dark brown, even black, and it looks horrible. So if you cover it, it won't, it won't stain. So all you do is you're going to cut the ends off and you follow the ridges, not cutting in too deep. You heard it cracking already? And you just stick your finger and you just peel it. You just go peeling it like that. Let me show you real quick how to do the same thing with the green banana. You cut the ends off, you score it, and you go peeling it. And as you do this, you're going to have a bowl with. Um, See how it feels like that? Um, you're going to have a bowl with salted water, maybe about a teaspoon of water, and we're going to put them in there. I wish I could show you. I'll show you my glove after I finish so you see how black it gets. And that gets under your nails, and then you have for days black nails. So you see how it goes? So we will do this. And with the jautia, I'm just going to use a vegetable peeler. This peels beautifully with a vegetable peeler. So we'll be back when all this is cut. A little trick to peel the banana. Since you don't need them whole, we're just going to process them in the food processor. If you cut them in little chunks and you go around the ridges, without cutting yourself of course, <laughs> look how easy it peels. It's way easier to peel it in little pieces than a big long um, green banana. Okay, so I already peeled and cut up. This is how the jautia looks. It, this is so yummy. Even just boiled on its own, you boil it like a potato and you mash it and it has such a soft and smooth texture. So good. So, now look at my gloves. This would have been stuck to your hands. And this would have been stuck to your cutting board. So now let's start processing it. Okay, so now it's time to um, process it. I mean, you can use a guayo, a, a box grater, but you know, they invented a food processor for a reason. So now we're just going to place it in here and we're just going to process it until it's smooth. And it's better if you do it in little batches because this way you won't, you won't get chunks. Okay, so this is the first batch. It smells so good. This, this smell reminds me of making pasteles because it's basically almost all of the same ingredients you use to make pasteles. How oh, beautiful. All nice and smooth. And if you ever get a chunk, I say chunk, if you ever get a piece, see that piece right there? You just pick it up and you put it back in the food processor and you process it. Now I lost it. And you process it, I'll find it, but you process it some more. Um, there's several ways of making. Let me start, keep on going over here. So you can see while I talk. <laughs> you can see my hands working while I talk. There's so many different ways of making alcaburrias. I don't think there's a set recipe because people make them from cassava, juca, um, they add pumpkin, 
this was basically something that they did with the with root vegetables so this is my version some people don't add plantains I think that by adding a plantain it hardens the mixture a little bit more and it's easy up to now it's been easy wait until we finish and we season it okay so the masa the batter is done and this is how it looks and of course it's so pale um, I'm going to add about a teaspoon and a half of salt and this takes a lot of salt just imagine if you were making like mashed potatoes you know the amount of salt well it's also a root vegetable so we mix it and now we're gonna add a lot of people add achote oil which is the annatto seed in oil I don't because I find it it's easier with a sazon packet and it comes together together better with um, without adding any extra oil to the mix see look how pretty it looks now so now we're going to mix it up and we're going to put it in the fridge for 15 minutes to let everything just sit and everything you know it's been through a lot we cut it we process it so now it has to stay in the fridge for at least 15 minutes and then we'll go on to make the alcapurria okay so now we're ready to make the alcapurria this is the hard part everything else was easy up to now so this is just a square of parchment paper maybe about six inches so what I do is since we're gonna fry them this is not healthy this is a fried um, root vegetable so what I do is I just pour, put a little bit of a nonstick spray on both so it's nice and oil and all I'm going to do is I'm going to put one tablespoon just a regular tablespoon and I'm going to spread it around not too thin just like that then I'm going to take the beef I am going to put it in the middle just like that now I'm going to take another tablespoon but in little in little bits I'm not going to take it off I'm going to put one here I'm going to divide it because we want to cover all the meat and you go slowly with your spoon you go slowly covering just like this you you go covering all the beef and you see like there's a little space right there so we're going to put a little blob of the masa making sure that everything is covered okay so my oil has been heated I just poured I put in a little piece and that's what you need a little slight bubbling we don't want it to be too 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 much because then um they'll like I say they'll burn and just be careful placing them in that's exactly what you want I'm using um a spatula to put them in because I like my fingers <laughs> and I don't want to get burned so you see I grabbed it and I'm just going to place it in there so this will fry for at least five minutes on each side but make sure to check them so they're not getting too brown so we'll be back when we have to flip these okay so now it's time to turn them and be careful you see how Oh wait, it's moving. You see how it is? That's exactly what we need for it to come up. So that means that most everything is cooked and now we only need the top part. So just be careful flipping them. You don't want them to break. See, that's exactly what we need. And we're gonna fry them five more minutes and then it's time to eat. Okay, so here you have them, my version of alcaburrias. I hope I explained it um, well enough so it looks so good. And remember, this is in moderation. This is what we call in Puerto Rico un antojito, which is like a little craving. You know, 
we know we can't eat like this every day but it's good once in a while to get some of this so if you like this video you know what to do give it a thumbs up and after this is going to be a little box that says click to subscribe click on that if you haven't subscribed and also in the description box down below I have my links to my social media to my Facebook and to my Instagram so oh, I can't wait buen provecho Mm. You hear that crunch? Mm. Try it.